Kia, movement that inspires. For Harvey Norman, your computer specialist. Geelong's most trusted news, Bay 93.9. Severe weather warning for Geelong and the Bellarine broadcasting on Water Run Country. Hi, I'm Shondre Llewellyn. A jury will continue deliberations tomorrow after they were unable to reach a verdict in the trial of a man accused of sexually assaulting Brittany Higgins in Parliament House. Bruce Lambert has pleaded not guilty and he's facing a criminal trial in the ACT Supreme Court. A vote will be taken tonight by City of Greater Geelong councillors on the future of Highton. Among proposed changes include a lifting of height restrictions similar to Manifold Heights and Leopold. Long-term resident of Highton, Graham Hobbs, said a new development on Bellevue Avenue will see the removal of nearly two dozen car parks. Highton Village Urban Design Framework and stated that 22 car parks will go when that building goes up, plus the 13 from Barrable Road, plus two from Taylor Court. It's 37 car parks being taken away from the Highton Village, which is disastrous. Labor will be handing down its first budget tonight in nearly a decade. A big focus will be on working families and aiming to ease cost of living pressures. Treasurer Jim Chalmers flagging it will be a solid, simple and sensible blueprint for the times. Residents across parts of the state are on high alert with more heavy rain expected to cause flash flooding. Major flooding has already happened along Echuca and Moama with the Murray River expected to peak today. Medibank has confirmed its data breach is more widespread than first thought. It was believed the cyber attack only affected customers of its subsidiary AHM, but the health insurer has confirmed hackers have got their hands on the details of Medibank customers as well. Police are appealing to help find a missing woman, Joanne. The 54-year-old was last seen at the Geelong Railway Station on the 15th of October. We have an image of her on our website and locals are rallying around a paramedic who has horrific injuries after a ski accident. James Crew has been a lawn surf life saving volunteer for over 20 years. Fellow lawn volunteer Richard Knight says James suffered serious injuries after taking a tumble while skiing. That caused him to fall down an embankment where he um had several breaks to his leg, but then also broke one of his vertebrae in his back, and so he had to get airlifted out of there. Baseball. Start your tile and flooring inspiration journey with Valare. Robert Harvey will depart Hawthorne after accepting an assistant coaching role at St Kilda. Harvey, along with the new coach, Ross Lyon, will both commence their new roles on November 1st. Former Australian cricket captain Mark Taylor is urging selectors to bring Steve Smith into the side for Friday's clash with England at the T20 World Cup. He expects Australia to stick with the same 11 that lost to New Zealand in tonight's clash with Sri Lanka in Perth. That's the latest news and sport up next, the weather. You do a lot of great things in your life. Do family holidays and birthdays. Do Christmas. For all the great things you do, the things you've done and the things still to do, do yourself a favour. Do your will. This October, State Trustees is celebrating Victorian seniors. If you're 60 or over, they'll do you 20% off your will and power of attorney. Get experts' help for peace of mind. When you choose Call Allianz your appointment today at statetrustees.com.au. You can save on your premium by simply increasing your basic access. Search Allianz Car Insurance to get your quote today. Up to $91,000 of free upgrades. T's and C's apply. Dropping down to 14 degrees tonight, the Bureau has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Geelong and the Bellarine Peninsula. Heavy rainfall can be expected and we have a minor flood warning still in place for the Bowen River.